Welcome to the Post Game Show, brought to you by Sports Broadcast Solutions, a broadcasting network for everyone. I'm Kyle Smith, alongside the SBS Man of the Match, Josh Torres. It wasn't a convincing win, but they find a way to win, and Chicago is now 7-0-0 on the season. The unbeaten season is still very much alive for Chicago. Wasn't exactly how you drew it up. You did have a man in the sin bin. You're down a man for most of the second half, but you find a way to win. What does it say to this team, the chemistry, the camaraderie, that you guys can find different ways to win games? I feel like we just stay composed. We stay as a team. Um, towards the end, I got subbed off. I feel like the coaches made a good decision because I wasn't feeling like I was doing my 100%. So I feel like bringing in a sub and the sub coming out and giving 100%, that was going to help out the team a lot because I was not, I was not doing as much because I was feeling a cram, but thank God the, the, the coaches made a sub and like the, the subs came in and made a change and I like, stayed composed as a team together. Was it tough being on the bench as Peoria City is getting closer and closer to tying this match or possibly winning it? Of course, of course. Like any, anyone, it's like scary being in a bench. Um, the, but the only thing you can do is like support the team and try to t tell them to like stay back, man back, anything, but try to help out the team. Controversy galore tonight. For people that aren't familiar with the game of soccer, what happened? Why was it offsides? And why was the goal not counted towards Peoria to tie it up at 2-2? Two to two? Um, I'll say that um, our, our defenders were like staying together in the line, so that made the other team try to pa make a pass, a through ball in, but he was officially outside, but thank God our defenders were staying together and staying composed and um, letting the other guy be outside for they, they, now, uh, they won't um, allow the goal. I think it's safe to say that Jackson Wayman is arguably the best goalkeeper in the entire Heartland Conference. You guys are down a man. Peoria keeps peppering him, and he finds a way to get you the W tonight. Of course, of course. He did a great job screaming at us and telling us um, that we have um, a man in our behind or think uh, he was um, kept us composed and um, try to give us feedback um, where the players are at and try to stay together as a team. Did you notice that he was pointing at the player that was offside right away, right after the goal happened? Yeah, I, I did see that, and um, that, that that shows that he's 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 already like looking, checking, seeing that that guy was outside, and thank God he was he told the ref, and the ref went out and told the linesman that it was outside. Well, it's obviously not the way your coach would draw it up, but a win's a win, right? You guys are 7-0-0. There are obviously bigger goals than going undefeated. I don't want to jinx you, but have you guys thought about it all going undefeated this season to finish off the campaign? I'll say this is my first year and I came here to play. I came here to win. I came here to score. So me coming in, I'm giving a hundred percent. I want to win. I want to win everything. So me being in this team, it's like even the coach wants to win. So I say everyone wants to win. So I feel like everyone's putting a hundred percent in the game and outside the game. And I, you, you can see that we're never going to give up. We're down a man, but we're never going to give up and we're always going to give a hundred percent. That's Josh Torres, and that does it for our post-game show. A 2-1 victory for Chicago City SC. They win down a man, and they're 7-0-0 on the season. We'll see you next time on SBS.